the Corruptor of Worlds is a level 100 skeleton-based boss that players are required to kill in order to complete the level 68 long quest Temple of the Legends. It's considered by many to represent a significant difficulty spike, with many lower level players either grouping up or requesting the help of higher level players to beat it. It moves fairly quickly and attacks even quicker, being able to damage players up to 20 times per second without latency, potentially trapping players in a sort of soft hit stun and dealing anywhere from 1000 to 5000 damage per second. However, this is balanced out somewhat by its fairly limited range. It attacks primarily with standard contact melee supplemented by its multi-hit spell and complemented by the occasional pull spell to bring players into that range, though the effective maximum range of pull is limited as well. So a player's top priority when fighting the Corruptor will be maintaining a healthy spacing with knockback and movement spells. The Corruptor of Worlds has a total of 100,000 health and regenerates 5,000 health every 10 seconds, so a player's second priority will be out DPSing that healing. It's weak to fire and air and resistant to water, earth, and thunder, so that should be kept in mind when picking the right weapon. Additionally, its level 90 Endermite based minions Corruptor spawn will spawn in its arena. They're not as formidable as their master, but they can corner or distract a player if they're not dealt with. Also, they have the same elemental weaknesses and resistances as the Corruptor. Now, if you're anything like me, you don't have friends, much less friends who play Windcraft, and you're too shy to ask for help. So, what do you do? Well, for at least 25% of the people watching who are archers, here's what you do. Firstly, you're going to need a weapon that can consistently damage the Corruptor at a rate of at least 500 damage per second without using mana in order to outpace its self-healing. Now on to the actual fight. The arena of the fight is not entirely convex. Part of the wall on the western side of the room protrudes inward from the otherwise mostly regular shape of the room, giving it a sort of cardioid outline. What's even more important is that there's a single nether brick slab on the ground on the corner of this protrusion. For whatever reason, the Corruptor of Worlds doesn't tend to try to walk over this slab, and won't necessarily try to walk around it to reach a player on the other side, but attacks can still pass through it. This means that archers in particular can knock the cow into the opposite corner, run to the other side of the wall to lure it into that spot, and then pretty much just stand anywhere south of this line, though the best spot is in this corner here. This can take a few tries to pull off, so don't go into this without a healthy soul point buffer, and make sure the speed buff from your escape spell stays active. Now that your own safety is assured, put up an arrow shield right away. This is what all your mana is going to be spent on for the duration of the fight. From your safe corner, hold right click a few blocks above the cow's head to compensate for arrow drop. It helps if you're using Optifine to hold down the zoom key to more easily see where your arrows are going and make sure you're actually hitting it. Then whenever a corruptor spawn triggers the arrow shield, just put up another one right away. This is why you need a weapon that can do at least 500 DPS without spells. All your mana during the fight will need to be spent on keeping up your arrow shield to keep the endermites off you. Be patient, make sure your arrows keep hitting the corruptor, and make sure your arrow shield stays up and after a few minutes it'll go down. From there just take out the four corruptor spawn that spawn when it dies with a few bomb arrows, grab the corrupted heart and possibly a tiny bit of high level loot, and get out of there so you can wave your dick in that smug ass Kalite's face and finally put an end to this wild group chase of a quest.